Up next is one of the few spaceship shooters for the N64, Star Soldier Vanishing Earth. Now this seems to be a sequel, well, a sequel to several of these games in the series. There's one for the NES which you can play right now for the Nintendo Switch Online. I didn't really care much for that one, but then again I haven't beaten it. So. S6. Factory 20. S6. Got the copyright right there. And the paint splotch right there. This came in a plastic covering. As it should, because it's a hard manual to get a hold, hold up. I'll get to that in a second. Even though this is a, uh, well actually it's probably a 2.5D game, 2D gameplay with the 3D graphics. It uses the analog stack as opposed to the uh, D-pad. Yeah, the story is basically about an alien race trying to wipe out uh, the human race. That's why it's called Vanishing Earth. The only thing, the aliens are robots. Sounds similar to the uh, plot of Terminator, except with the uh, spaceships. In this one, you can uh, play as three different ships. Personally, I like the blue one. It seems to have uh, piercing capabilities with the laser. It's the only one I used uh, for beating the game. The other two I haven't really practiced with. And the third one. It's fire, laser, and I guess uh, lightning for this one. Yeah, I've only beaten this two times. The live stream will be three. Yeah, the uh, spaceship shooter isn't really one of my favorite genres. The only one I really like is uh, Galaga. Batman is playing Galaga. Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. Shall we play, Doctor? This way, sir. And then there's uh, Self Heed, which was uh, an acquired taste because it came with uh, my lot of uh, the Sega CD. So that's why I played and try to beat it. Unfortunately it doesn't work, it freezes at the end, it's scratched up so I can't beat it. Fuck. I'll get to that in a second. The notes that is. So yeah, I like this one because it's uh, not like the other spaceship shooters where they're bullet hells. Nowhere to go, getting trapped by the bullets. This one is uh, easier and not as long to beat take probably under a hit under an hour to beat and it has the uh, shield uh, sit mechanic here press the R button and it pops up for a second and uh, it's like a roll shield and it deflects all and anything so you won't no way to get trapped always got a way out all right here's what came with the uh, either the manual or the uh, game Always sending you stuff off eBay. Right, here we go. Got it on July third, uh, two thousand nineteen, for a total of twenty four fifty two. And I got the manual earlier this year, 
February 4th, 2020, for $29. Now this game, the manual is very hard to find by itself. Now, if you want uh, to get the manual and you can't find it, uh, if you have to go CIB, the uh, price dram dramatically jumps up to go CIB. As you can see, all together I got this for... Too much math. Uh, 54, 53, 52. Hopefully I'm doing my math right. Whereas, uh, from what I've seen, it now it's uh, price charting. Like, it's 50, $150 for a CIB. And the last manual I saw sold was selling for $100. So it's a big jump in price uh, for the manual so I'm lucky I got this when I did before the uh, virus happened and everybody got a stimulus check and now was uh, buying all the games and manuals and whatnot so yeah that's usually what I look for is the manuals to see if I can get them loose and how much are they and see if the uh, CIB is uh, a huge jump from getting it loose like a uh, ogre battle getting it CIB instead of just the uh, game and manual. I only had to play about $10 next year to get CIB. So you gotta watch that. Look at them loose or CIB. Let's see if it comes out to be how much more. Now this one, like I said, the price jumps skyrockets. Almost three times if you then if you get it uh, just game and manual. So that's about it. I'll see you guys next to uh, stream. Oh this stream, whatever.